cut. That's not how it goes at all. Species are constantly adapting to new environments. Most of them will never become invasive. Some are incredibly beneficial. This is a serious scientific issue. Let's treat it that way, okay? Hmm. Something seems different. So how important is the issue of invasive species? Well, it depends on where you stand and how you measure. In the Galapagos Islands, for example, goats were introduced in the 1800s, and after a century, the landscape was decimated. Blackberry thickets showed up to the islands in the 1960s, and today they cover 4% of the island's total land area, forcing out native species like the daisy tree. Each year in the U.S. alone, invasive species cost an estimated $130 billion in economic loss. Why do some species become invasive, though, while most don't? To answer that, let's look at the process in action. Every species has evolved over time and grown accustomed to the niche that it lives in. Geographically isolated places like islands or lakes often have unique species and unfilled ecological niches. When species are introduced to a new environment by human action, some will be able to take advantage of the new conditions. They might be stronger, more disease resistant, faster, bigger, more prolific, less tasty, or have any number of other competitive advantages. Our invasive friend the blackberry is loaded with competitive advantages. Let's compare it to the Galapagos' daisy tree. It grows quickly, and each cane produces loads of seeds each year. The plant's thorns protect it from predation, and it doesn't require pollination to spread. Any woody part of the plant can put down new roots, and its tasty fruits attract animals to help spread the seeds. So, when a species enters a new environment, some of the conditions that kept it in check back home might be absent, and a handful of introduced species will become invasive and outcompete the native ones. In the reefs of Belize, it's the lionfish, native to the Indian Ocean. But this is happening all over the world, at a scale that's tough to keep pace with. That doesn't keep us from trying, though. Most management practices to combat invasive species involve human labor, the application of chemicals, the introduction of biocontrols like predators or diseases, or all of the above. In the Galapagos and Belize, students and teachers traveling with EPI work directly with invasive species. Getting involved is a great way to mitigate the negative effects of invasive species and protect our planet's most endangered ecosystems. So let's review. Invasive species are a global issue rooted in our globalized world. Species that evolved separately for millions of years are now being thrown together. Sometimes humans see a benefit. Often, species will naturalize with little negative or positive impact. And occasionally, an introduced species will completely overwhelm an ecosystem if we don't step in. Want to learn more about invasive species? Follow Ecology Project International online or join us in the field. Much, much better. That's a wrap.